Hi there, my name is Emily Craven and I will be teaching the Digital Storytelling Workshop for Teachers and Educators on the 1st of September at the South Australian Writers' Centre. Now this video today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about digital storytelling and interactivity, what interactivity is and why it should be incorporated into the classroom and how you can do that simply and easily today. So when I talk about interactivity and storytelling, I'm talking about interactivity in the sense that a reader must interact or perform some action for the story to continue, or a reader's actions or choices affect the direction of the story and how it ends. Now, interactivity is not only important in classrooms, but important for learning in general. So interactivity promotes an active learning state rather than a passive learning state. So it allows readers and participants to retain more information, grasp concepts more easily by doing, seeing, hearing and reading. So the youth of today are more connected, more distracted and more used to bright flashy media. So printed books are very far removed from this reality and there's no wonder that there is a disconnect between books and reading and youth. So the tools incorporating transmedia and interactivity offer new and exciting possibilities for how students can interact, construct and understand narrative while encouraging and enhancing creativity and communication. So there are ways that you can construct these type of interactive experience for your students without being a technical whiz. And that's what we'll be teaching you in this digital storytelling workshop at the SA Writer Centre on the 1st of September. So what is a good activity that you can do that will incorporate interactivity into your reading that's really simple. And so the one that I like to tell people about is what I term locative literature. So it's stories that happen in the place where the reader's standing. So this is a very, very simple form of interactivity and though we'll go into more complex forms as part of the workshop, this is what something you can just take away from the video and use in your classroom. So basically, you grab your students and take them out to a stimulating location. So when I say stimulating, it's either because there is a variety of people there or because the landscape is particularly uh, stimulating. And get them to write a story set in the place where they are sitting. So the story can be anything. It can be fantasy, crime, thriller, spy, comedy, whatever it is that they would like to write as long as it is set in the place where they are standing. Then... Read some of the stories out loud in that location, allowing students to be there while the action in the story is happening. And for a little bit of a more complex interactive storytelling, what you can do is you can get the students to write their start story and then ask them to set up two different scenarios. So you give the reader a choice as to whether they want to go in one direction or the other direction. So in that case, students will be writing three stories. They'll be writing the start story, which ends in a choice. Do I go pathway A or pathway B? And then what they do is they write the ending for pathway A, and then they write the story ending for pathway B. Now again, each of these different sections of story happen in a real location so that they're using the sight the smells, the feelings, the texture, as well as what they see in the descriptions of their story to help bring the fantasy into the real world and to engage people and allow them to see exactly what it is that's happening. So that's one really simple interactive activity that you can do with your students. And we'll be going into more complex forms of locative literature and we'll also be going into how you can incorporate different things like video and audio into print books, into e-books. So all of this will be covering the Digital Storytelling Workshop. I really hope to see you guys there.